Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing series SNCF 31710. Today actually we have a very important uh, topic. It's called security intelligence. So introduction now to be uh, for security intelligence, what security intelligence and how it's working and what is the type of security intelligence. Now. Security intelligence, as you know, all in all, that it's considering the uh, first line of defense after the, uh, of course, the pre-filter. So if we uh, can see here in the diagram, here the security intelligence is here. Actually, we have to position for it. So here is uh, the, for the IP address, the pre-filter, and after that, the access control after the access control, it will be uh, security intelligence, DNS, and URL, because we have three types of security intelligence. So, uh, going back to our slide, of course, it's an early line of defense against uh, malicious internet con uh, content. Security intelligence uses reputation intelligence to quickly block connection to or from IP address URLs and domain names, DNS, of course. This is called security intelligence blacklisting. Uh, the security intelligence uh, made for itself a concept of a blacklist and whitelist. So any IP or any URL or any domain is under the blacklisting, it is automatically be blocking without blocking the rule itself because the uh, security intelligence as you remember from the previous videos it's working in the access control policy all in all itself it's not working in access control rule great so security intelligence is an early phase of access control true before the system performs more resource and sensitive evaluation uh, why they did security intelligence? For several reasons. First of all, higher security, if uh, you said that. And second thing, it will be uh, minimizing the load uh, on the uh, firewall itself. How? If you apply the security intelligence, and the security intelligence block the traffic, so it's not going inside the whole process for this north because you know when the packet is going or traffic is going to this north engine for further inspection it means that uh, it's going for several steps to be inspected uh, as we see in the diagram here again uh, okay pre-filter if it's sending to the security intelligence IP address it's fine it's a check all is fine Access control, pass, it will go to security intelligence DNS URL. If there is anything like that, uh, if it's dropping, it will drop. If it's passing, if it pass. So access control layer seven access uh, list, pass. So file policy, pass IPS policy. You see all these are needing for inspection. Imagine you are applying all these services. So if I apply the service with this, yes. So the firepower actually, or any firewall, uh, will be like uh, having a headache uh, doing the inspection for that. Great. So let's go back to the slide. Okay. So the system... Uh, this uh, drops unwanted traffic before evaluating with its access control policy, thus reducing the amount of system resources used, exactly as we explained right now. An object category that contains the three different categories of lists and feeds. Network DNS URL. Yes, of course, uh, we will show you in the system right now. Uh, security intelligence has three types either per network, it means IP address, or per DNS, or per URL. And we'll see the difference 
between them and uh, when we will use it and we will not. Each of these is capable of receiving a security intelligence feed from Cisco Talus. 100% Cisco Talus team is working day and night to update these feeds uh, for you to be for your environment to be secure. Perfect. This feed is a dynamic collection of IP address, URL, or domain names that FMC downloads at interval uh, you configure. Yes, sure. Change, changes to this feed are immediately applied to all devices without requiring a manual policy deployment. Uh, yes, as long as the FMC is connected to the internet, uh, the updates will be receiving from you automatically. Great. Security intelligence by network. It's simply IP address, yes. This can be used to blacklist or whitelist the traffic based on the source destination IP address. Great. Of course, public IP address, not a private, because we are caring about the, uh, the, 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 the attacks and malicious going in the internet. Actually, it's working like a reputation. If, if, if this public IP address is uh, doing like some attacks for the region, so what Cisco tells do, for example, Cisco tells us here and trying to uh, do some researches and what's happening and what's going on all over the world. So if Cisco Talis team, for example, here an attack happened in India. Okay. So automatically do the research for that. And it's updating uh, the signature for this attack. And it will register its IP address, public IP address. If uh, there is like uh, figure the domain uh, they are, it will update you in milliseconds. Believe me, it will be in your FMC updated for that. So what happened here? It's updated. Cisco Talos did the research and updated, and after that, it will update your FMC. Great. Uh, there is all links. Now, uh, they are implemented on a security intelligence tab in the access control policy where they can be used to blacklist or whitelist traffic. Exactly. It will be applied as we said in the access control policy itself, not in the root. Uh, it has actually a Cisco, Talos, a Cisco intelligence feeds. Uh, this is actually several lists of IP addresses in different categories. Yes. This feed is updated by Cisco constantly and you can download it as often as once every eight minutes. We will see now the timing in the system. Uh, the Cisco Thread Intelligence Director, there is also, this is only in the network. It has a TDID. Uh, what is this? This is a complicated, more secure, okay, like defense against the threats. Uh, TID can bring in data from threat intelligence sources and publish the data to all configured managed devices. Okay, this is a uh, Talos team work actually. Don't bother yourself. No. It has, as we said, the concept of the global blacklist and whitelist. These objects are empty by default. They are designed to be populated with your own custom IP addresses during the process of event analysis. And then you can update this and putting like this IP address is in a blacklist or this is in a whitelist. Uh, support that uh, your firepower blocked one IP address. And you know that this IP address is uh, intake and only problem from it. So you can add it to your whitelist. And the same for blacklist, of course. Uh, and here is telling you, like, by right click on IP address. Okay, you can add it on the fly. We will show it to you on the lab. You can also use the whitelist IP now option to add the host to the global whitelist. Okay, we explained this that you can add the to global blacklist and whitelist. Uh, you only bypass uh, security intelligence. Uh, and not the whole snort process when you whitelist the host exactly. If you whitelist an IP address, 
or DNS or URL. You are bypassing the security intelligence only, but not, for example, the file policy, but not uh, the IPS, but not other uh, inspection in this north. Adding an entry to either a global list, call the device to update immediately. Great. Now, the, 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 the second type is the DNS. DNS, of course, it works like its network, uh, simply by receiving a feed from Cisco. Exactly the same network. It's, it's, it's receiving a feed from Cisco team, Talos team. However, these are domain names with a poor reputation rather than IP addresses. Okay. Uh, it's working the reputation. Designed to prevent hosts from resolving and subsequently connecting to evil or compromised servers. Exactly. This is like um, it's doing uh, phishing in the DNS that there is like uh, a malicious domain name. It will be uh, directed uh, uh, to the uh, evil servers or like malicious server to do some attacks on you. So uh, your firewall can figure out that. So there are like types how to do that uh, DNS uh, blocking or we will take something also called the DNS sinkhole for that. Great. Also, uh, similar to network security intelligence, there are a global uh, blacklist and global whitelist. All of them have this concept in the security intelligence. Now, DNS security intelligence is implemented via DNS policy. Yes, we have to create a DNS policy. We will show you that. By selecting the blacklist HTTP connection to URL now, you will add this to the URL global blacklist. Sure. By selecting blacklist HTTP connection to domain now, you will add this entry to the DNS global blacklist. Of course. Now, URL, the third type of the security intelligence. This consists of URL with a poor reputation exactly there is no entry for this is copied great this is because we are telling you why there is no entry the dns and url entries are combined into a single feed it means that they are sharing the same database which is managed under the dns list and feeds perfectly now there is a question coming in the mind what is the difference then between the previous video we took URL filtering and the URL inside the security intelligence? This is a great question actually. The URL filtering is you have to create an object if you remember. This object manually you can put your static IP address for that. Uh, sorry, a static uh, website. Then you can apply it in the rule, inside the rule you have URL. Great. Or you can do this by category, like as we show you like social media. So we clicked on the social media. Uh, you have uh, also another type, what it was called jobs, search jobs. Okay, so it will block for you all the job searching for that. Auctions. Or the auctions website belong to this category okay so you will put it whether that this website is whitelist or blacklist does not understand that you put it and you put inside the rule and this rule either to block or allow great but the URL inside the uh, security intelligence no it's different little a bit it has the same, actually, yeah, and the, 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 the URL filtering does not have the concept of a blacklist and whitelist. But the URL inside the security intelligence, first of all, it has the concept of the blacklist and whitelist to put URL in blacklist and whitelist. But here, what is, uh, if you want to uh, think about the blacklist and whitelist, your rule will judge if this is a blacklist or whitelist by blocking the rule or allowing the rule. Okay. Second thing, yes, you will find a grouping category like called in the your reputation category. You will find it most probably the same of this category. Uh, 
We will show you again to remind you. But the, the, the third difference or fourth difference, I don't know what I'm counting, uh, here, here is the URL for security intelligence happened. And but URL filtering will be happening here. Yes, of course, it's a layer seven. It's layer seven, uh, and it can be happened here. So there is difference. Yeah, there is difference, and it's confusing for all the students for that. Great. So here uh, there is no entry for the Cisco feed exactly, and this is because we said that the DNS and URL entries are combined to each other. Okay. Security intelligence method of blocking and whitelisting, actually it has three types, feeds, lists, and the blacklist and whitelist. Feeds, Cisco has dedicated the thread intelligence and research team called Talos. Yes, it's called Talos. Who analyzed, uh, 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 who did the analysis for the behavior of the internet traffic performs in depth analysis on any suspicious activities and categories and list them into a file and update to the FMC. This file called Cisco Intelligence Feed. So it's a file has, for example, bad IP addresses, block IP addresses. It's a feed. File has, uh, I don't know why the file became like this, file has uh, URLs. Yeah, this is called feed. File has domain names, feeds. Now, list. Actually, Cisco and the FMC give you an option to upload your own list if you want to block certain IP addresses or you want to block certain URLs or you want to block certain domains. So you can do in the text files uh, .text files, you can list uh, your, for example, IP one after another, okay, and you can upload it, and it is still checking it, and uh, it depends where you put it in the blacklist, so it will be blacklist IP addresses. If you put it in the whitelist, it will be whitelist IP addresses. Uh, blacklist and whitelist, yes, you can add blacklist for suspicious addresses or whitelist without adding an access rule for it, yes, no need for an access rule for it, because the Security intelligence is applying on the, sorry, uh, let me delete. Access control policy, we said, this is the ACP. And the security intelligence, SI, is applying on it. In the whole ACP. But ACP has several rules access control rules but the SI is applying on the access control policy not in the access control rules if you remember like in the previous videos I did like uh, fuzzy diagrams that illustrated this great so um, let me finish the video until this and it will be like a theoretical video and we will start from the uh, next videos identifying the uh, types of security intelligence like how we apply the network how we apply the uh, dns and uh, url if you like the video uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe share and like and see you next soon